What's good, everybody? How you doing? Well, praise the Lord. That's how I start my videos out. Mr. Count Rude. Anyway, weapons and wellness, expert interviews. Uh, it's coming very soon here in just a minute. I got a few things that I'm going to be putting in place so I can uh, educate people on weapons training, where to buy good weapons at, who to trust, which are FFL deliveries, uh, websites that are janky that you don't want to deal with, um, stuff like that. Just real information uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where I buy my gear, uh, where I put things together, a uh, few ex-Army Rangers that I know, uh, former Marines or current Marines because they don't like to be Marines like to be called Marines. They, you know, nothing, nothing short of that. You know, they are a different kind of group. <laughs> and I respect and love all veterans, whether you um, Army, Navy, Air Force, or whatever. Um, I really want to touch on the safety of women and children, and especially, especially single women out here with children. Um, Y'all being targeted like something I have never seen. I have a serious problem with that. And I just want to talk to y'all for a few minutes. Please listen to me what I have to say. Do not depend on someone else when it comes to your safety. You need to be armed, you need to be trained, and you need to be, um, you need to put yourself in a position where you can at least defend yourself. Um, because I'm seeing too many women out here um, being put in a position where they are, um, where they can't defend themselves, and it's really sad. Uh, you know, enough men are not stepping up to help women. So this is my way of giving back. This is my way of trying to help you, so you can defend yourself and understand that you have a God-given right. First of all, you have an American right. Uh, to defend yourself, which basically means that um, if you are being targeted by whoever, I don't care who it is, ex-husband, boyfriend, whoever, you name it, you have a right to defend yourself. Please do not feel like you're alone on this fight because you're not. And I wanted to say this and make sure that Everybody knows that I am completely against domestic violence, but I'm also a big advocate of gun safety and, and protocol when it comes to that. So, women need to understand that you have a right to bear arms. If that's the case, then you need to have one. I'm sorry, there's too many people out here, oh, you don't need a gun, you don't need this, you don't need this. Yes, you do. You know why? Because they got them. Listen, ladies, if you are a female and you are in a situation against a male and he has a weapon, you got no chance, okay? If you have one and he has one, you have a chance. If you have one and he doesn't have one, you have a chance, okay? And that's all I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? So I need y'all to understand the dynamic. If you understand the dynamic, then you can survive a lethal encounter. You can survive a crazy situation and you can still be here. There's too many people out here that want God to do everything for you. They want Jesus to do everything for you. Listen, and I'm not speaking against that. Don't catch, don't get me wrong. I love the Lord. People know I love the Lord. I'm saved. But I promise you, the enemy and people who are trying to do harm to you do not care. What does that tell you? That tells you that you need to go get you something to defend yourself with. Because if you don't got it, good chance you're going to be with Jesus. I'm just letting you know. It's a good chance that's what's going to happen to you. 
So stop listening to people who don't know what they're talking about. Talking about, oh, you're good. You don't need that. Oh, you live in this neighborhood. You're safe. Blah, 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 blah. Ain't none of that true. None of that true. You're fooling yourself and you're living in a fantasy. Okay? Especially people with money. I had to educate a lot of my friends. Some of these guys were pro athletes. Some of them got great businesses, make a lot of money. No, no weapon over it. I'm like, bro, you're living in a fantasy. You got all these people in your house and you're doing all this stuff and you have no protection. Why? Why? So I just want to come over here and say a few words and try to help as many people as I possibly can because you need to change the narrative. The only way we can change the narrative is by changing the narrative. <laughs> you don't need to be a victim. God put you on this earth because you're a blessing. So be a blessing and stay here and protect yourself. It's okay. It's more than okay. So that's my message today. Um, I have plenty of interviews coming up. I'm going to tell you more about me in those interviews. And I just want to be the type of man that stands on his word, says what he's going to do, and I do it, uh, and help as many people as I possibly can. And that's my message to the world. Whoever get this message, God bless you. I hope it finds you in good health. Um, and I just, that's my, my heart is for people. So I don't want to do no harm to anybody, but I don't want anybody to do any harm to me or mine. Um, and that's what's, that's what's up. Peace. God bless y'all.